<clears throat> Someone told me they'd just seen you in Poisson. I assumed it was a case of mistaken identity, but sure enough, here you are. And Farina, too. <sighs> I was wondering if we might run into her. Uh, so, you're here for Palo? Looks like he could be a while, so feel free to take a stroll around town in the meantime. I've made all the arrangements already. How are things in Poisson now? Any better? Things are on the mend, but it's a slow process. Some people may never recover from the trauma they experienced. I'm... sorry to hear that. I take such a depressing turn every time we meet. We all have painful memories, but we don't have to let them cloud everything we do. And if you're trying to make a new start, perhaps it's best if you don't bring up the past all the time. Thank you for your words of comfort. You make a very good point. But for now, at least, I think I should stay with the way I'm feeling for a while longer. It's okay. These things take time. Moving on from a painful experience is easier said than done. I don't have any friends that I can be frank and honest with, so maybe she's right. You're the closest thing to friends that I have. I've had nothing but the truth, and now I'm finally free to live my own life again. And even though I have no idea where I'm going right now, at least the choice is in my hands. I knew you'd be here. I'm here merely for a short break. It has been a while, Miss Farina. And you too, Traveler in Paimon. What might I assist you with today? I would like to book the Opera Epicleus for an event. You see... I understand. Mm, the process for booking the Opera Epicles is complex and can be somewhat cumbersome. But given that the request is coming from the three of you, I see no reason to make things unduly difficult. The story of the little Ocea in it is most fascinating. I'm looking forward to seeing it performed on stage. I will say, however, that I am surprised to see your passion for the performing arts rekindled after all that has happened. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Do I look excited? Yes. And this is the first time that I've seen you like this since your departure from deityhood. At first, I just felt bad about rejecting them. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about their situation. But one thing led to another, and... Well, here we are. <laughs> in the past, we sat in our high chairs in the court giving our opinions on isolated cases, all while knowing very little about the human stories behind each. Maybe it's because I finally become an ordinary person and gained my freedom, but I've developed a great sense of curiosity about their lives. I am truly delighted to see you find a new lease on life. Now that you've regained some confidence, have you had any thoughts regarding a return to the stage? Why would you suddenly ask a question like that? Well, if the little Ocean it turns out to be a great success, it will no doubt become a classic. Many theater companies are certain to add it to their repertoire. The experiences and decisions of the protagonist Cleo are all modeled after your own. Naturally, this makes you eminently suited to playing the leading role. It would truly be a shame if you did not take this opportunity to allow audiences to enjoy your outstanding acting talents once more. Haven't I already made myself clear? I won't act or perform in any role ever again. No exceptions. Nor do I think it is any great shame. There is no lack of fine actors or inspirational stories, either on or off the stage. This experience is a case in point. I feel like I've learned a lot, and it has already been well worth the price of admission. I must admit, though, I'm a little envious. <laughs> They're quite fortunate to be able to bid farewell to their past in such a magnificent manner. I see. Well, I'm glad to learn that you have found a role to play that you enjoy, be it on the stage or not. I sincerely hope the show will serve as the grandest of finales. I will have my staff book the date and mail the relevant paperwork to the troop once the details are confirmed. Thanks, Nervalette. 
You are very welcome. Cursed Cleo. She stole the waters of life from us. She's a fraud, and she must pay for her crimes. This has nothing to do with her. The ignorance and hatred of our people is to blame. How can we hope to win back the water's favor if we don't change our ways? This guy could be useful. Take him hostage. If Cleo wants him back, she'll have to show herself. Leave this place, oh little Oceanid, and never, ever look back! Everyone's really throwing themselves into their roles. I haven't seen such a fine performance in a long time. <sighs> if only... What should we do? It's almost time for her to take the stage! Please take Delphi back to her place to rest. I'll... sing the finale. <sighs> From the sublime to the ridiculous. After all that, everything's come full circle. Thank you, Miss Farina. I'm so sorry to put you in this position after everything you said. Never mind. What's done is done. It's really my own fault for getting in too deep. <laughs> no one likes regrets, myself included. Leave it to me. I've watched you rehearse so many times that I've learned Cleo's part by heart. Maybe Nervilette was right. Maybe Cleo is the right role for me. I still don't wish to pretend to be someone else, but I do have a desire to express myself. So, maybe the ship. yeah. There was once a time when I was an actress in a masquerade, seeking only to hide the truth. But from now on, I want to spend my time learning real stories about real people, and how they touch the lives of others around them. I want to watch them blossom and wither, see them refined on the page, retold on the stage and remembered long into the future. I'm sure this is what captivated director O'Reilly as well. Sounds like you're ready to stop running from your true calling. The more you get out into the world, the more you'll discover what a fascinating place it is. <laughs> then it's a deal. If a vision is a gift from the gods, then I should do my best to honor it. <laughs>